Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony or Big B Stats and welcome back uh, to Minecraft Creative Cribs episode 78. Woo -woo! We're only 22 episodes away from 100, which is absolutely insane. Now, if I was to add up every single episode that I did of Toying People's World, it would literally be uh, a lot. <laughs> I'll just say it like that. Uh, but yeah, welcome back to episode 78. Uh, today I will be touring a world called Smoke City by the guy by the name of uh, Smoky Minecraft, a very unique builder uh, and very open-minded uh, on, on one hand, which I will explain here, or maybe I, I may not explain. You may just actually catch the drift uh, here, but uh, yeah, very awesome world. He has a lot of redstone, also has a lot of bills in here too that are very unique. It's almost a mix between city and like modern it, it's kind of weird but uh we follow him throughout it i think that was kind of like his and i think these fence gates are probably going to be like the next thing that gets me stopped normally it's button doors i think at first it was i don't know if it was just regular doors in between the lag here uh but then it, now it's actually uh the, the the fence gates those things just really mess me up here uh and again he has do he does have some redstone here and i really do tip my hat to anyone that can use redstone because redstone's almost like being a electrician like let's say something goes out in your house and you don't exactly know how to fix it i feel like redstone is it's kind of similar to that like you would technically do that now i do do some things like that like as far as like fixing wires or something in my house but other than like really technical technical that that's just uh very difficult there it's like being your own inventor uh but yeah this is smoke city as you can see it does have the city like thing and it is very futuristic he has a lot of things to show off here and uh, i i'm pretty sure he was actually snoop dog <laughs> Even though it sounds kind of funny, I, I, th I think this guy, Smoky Minecraft, was was actually Snoop Dogg. And again, you will get the drift of it, uh, which I may not go into details about. But <clears throat> he was Snoop Dogg, just understand that. Or he was probably Wiz Khalifa, I don't know. He was either one of the two uh, in this during this episode uh, of Cribs. But I'll talk to you guys about gardening. That's exactly what this, this whole world is about, about gardening. And <laughs> your different type of trees and all that good stuff. Um... But here, I, it's, I think this is a bridge, I, I believe so. Uh, we did do a lot of teleporting because he had different sections of the map, and I think getting to them was like, took a very long way. But uh, look at that there. That's pretty awesome. And that that's what I mean by he, I think he was like secretly uh, Snoop Dogg here, just because he had that. But I do think the smoke effect here was very good. And I think he definitely covered the whole aspect of the smoke city thing. And uh, like, a, he had like a, a cigar somewhere or something crazy like that. But I, I thought that was very awesome. And uh, <laughs> a lot of things going on here. At first, I was like, oh my god, I didn't actually know it was about that. But uh, but yeah, overall, the builds are just really good. But the World Cup semifinals, not semifinals, the finals uh, is today. And uh, hopefully that, that Germany pulls through for the win. I didn't actually expect the turnout to go so uh, much like this, but I actually did. But uh, it did. Anyway, that's 18 and plus. We don't go in there. But we do check out a lot of things. Uh, like that over there we have like a bar area here uh, I think he uses the brewing stand for something uh, different which I think a lot of people do they use items that that pretty much definitely go for different things and and he's getting the the <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it but uh, that's exactly what you get you you understand what's going on here uh, I believe so I know you guys are probably gonna kill me for this but uh this is a gallery here the tree gallery and uh, as you can see the different type of trees and plants and all that that crazy stuff there uh, but I do want you guys to really really focus on the builds that's what I need you to do I need you to focus focus on the builds and on what you see and that's that's pretty much all I need you guys to do. <laughs> I, I actually can't wait to read the comment section down below uh, for this. But he's a great builder. I think actually Craft the Logical uh, actually linked me up with this guy, which uh, which I, I like totally just told on Craft the Logical. Not like that, but uh, yeah, Craft the Logical is an amazing builder. Uh, he's actually on an episode of Creative Cribs, I believe, for and look at this little chill uh, system here with the speakers. And I also talk about the City Texture Pack. And what I love most about that, but uh, Craftological is a, a very, very great builder uh, as far as building like organic things, dragons, and I think pretty much anyone he knows is a very good builder. So I do want to say thank you, Craftological, uh, for linking me up with this guy to tour his world. I will be doing uh, a lot of touring coming up soon, and also I will tell you guys how to actually uh, submit your world. If you're if you're trying to figure out how to get on Creative Cribs, if you're watching this and you've built a world yourself. 
and you're trying to figure out how to get on Creative Cribs, I will uh, go into detail about that and add some things uh, in the description. Uh, here's like a test area for your different type of trees or whatnot. Uh, here's your lab uniform, which if I put this on, I feel like uh, Walter White and he'd probably be uh, Jesse Pinkman. Uh, I, I think so, which Breaking Bad is just is just awesome. It's one of my favorite, actually, TV shows, which I... And here we go with the button doors again. I always get stuck, no matter what. And he came to my rescue. Thank you. You guys always seem to do that for me. <laughs> uh, here's your elevator, which all you do is just basically you fly. I think building elevators in a house is just way too complicated. Uh, with the redstone, I don't even think a redstone builder would actually want to build an a elevator in the house, just because. Um... Again, uh, here's your different type of plants and all that uh, crazy stuff. But you get a nice view uh, from up here on the balcony, the pool, and all that good stuff. But the, the the city texture pack always looks good. And I think if you're if you're going for building a futuristic or a like a any kind of city map, I think uh, the city texture pack is definitely good. Even though that sounds kind of like, of course, if I'm going to build a city map, of course I'm going to use the city texture pack. But you'd be you'd honestly be surprised. I think natural. Uh, looks very good with the with like a city style, but it, it normally goes like that. I, it normally goes like this. I think plastic should be mainly for like cartoonish builds. I, I've played a lot of cartoonish maps or seen a lot of like pixel art things and all that good stuff. Uh, natural should go for I think like medieval style. I think you definitely get that the whole feeling from that. It's almost like it's definitely like medieval, especially if you're into that whole style city. It, it, it's kind of a, a mixture, I, I think, between plastic and, and natural. Uh, I think the item frames in, in City are uh, obviously, not obviously the best, but they, they do look really good. Like, you have a microwave, uh, you can have speakers, you know, things like that. I think this is awesome. Uh, this is the Smoke Mobile, which I thought looked very good. Uh, for a second, I thought I, I, I was Batman. I felt like I could actually just drive off in this thing and just go on and on and on. Uh, and hopefully these cars do not smoke when you drive them, uh, because then that would mean they're not that great. So I'm assuming they don't smoke. Maybe it's like clear smoke, and they just go really, really fast. And as we drift off into the sunset, uh, we're going to get ready to go to another area here soon, which we'll check out. And then this is another part of Smoke City. Uh, as you can see, this huge, uh, massive tower here, which I don't even know what this was. Maybe that the whole thing there was just... Powering the plant. It almost reminded me of something from War of the Worlds. Like, have you ever seen War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise? And it's like the aliens come and they kind of like, yeah, that was crazy. I remember when I first watched that, it was just, it was kind of like, I don't know, I, I loved it. I, <laughs> it was very awesome. Again, that that's probably one of my my favorite movies. There, uh, here is the airport, uh, which I thought was very awesome and unique, uh, especially on the theme type uh, world here. Uh, this was made by him himself. Uh, him himself. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, this was made by him. I think he have a, uh, he did have like maybe a few friends maybe helping him. I don't know, but I think mainly this whole map, uh, was built by him. And I do like how he has the mine carts and everything. Uh, moving over there, like luggage and, you know, you have the, your security check, all that crazy stuff. And the airport is just, it, it's awesome. You gotta love the airport. Even though it may be a little crazy, uh, trying to get around, but this is probably one of the coolest looking airports I've seen in Creative Cribs and especially if you compare it to like real life airports which airports are always I find fascinating I remember my first time in the airport I was just like man this is like huge and I was like I, I didn't know exactly where to go and you can definitely get lost uh, at a couple spots like I definitely almost got lost at a lot of airports so you almost run out of time catching your flight you don't want to go through that it, it, it's very tough but uh, you, you hopefully you do make it to wherever you do it if you ever run into that that situation uh, Here's another modern looking build. I think this is a bunch of cake placed down which sometimes I have trouble finding out what the cake looks like and these are actually comments uh, I believe from people th who have joined the world uh, I don't think I, I placed down a cake if if there was a possibility for me to make a cookie cake I, I wish they would do that like let's say you can craft up a a cake and then you can just like have a bunch of cookies around that cake and then you make a cookie cake how how that that would be one of the best things ever i think there's some more cake uh on the table there to actually uh fulfill your appetite and as we sit there and i don't know what we're doing right now we're just kind of creeping around and the skin he has definitely matched uh his character there i think <laughs> uh very uh very very mis not mi mysterious i think i think that skin's very mysterious i think that maybe the the borderlands uh, skin, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 
Um, this is the, the kitchen area, I think. It's kind of hard to tell which each area is. Uh, he was very, like, open-minded with his builds, and he had a lot of things that just mainly looked... Uh, he, he, like, mix-matched a lot of textures, but for some reason it turned out to look freaking amazing. Like, uh, and look at this sad pumpkin. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I, <laughs> he needs to smile, maybe because he, uh, he knows he'll be turned into pumpkin pie uh, later. That's most likely why he was frowning there. You go upstairs, and there's a lot of things up here. I think this this may be the the kitchen here. Uh, this is to Kaft, uh, with love from Stampy there. Uh, hi, my name is George. He likes fish and milk. Hello, kitty cat. <laughs> uh, very nice uh, kitty there. I think that was a fish tank with no fish in it, uh, because all the fish have been eaten uh, by the kitty cat there. <laughs> uh, that's Kraft the Logicals room, uh, which I talked about him earlier. Very awesome builder there. And I really love to see builds that just, again, they, they mix and mash everything together. And it just turns out to look uh, phenomenal. Uh, down below, all the smoke or something like that. I think, I don't know if we go, if we end up going down there. But that's this build here. A uh, very awesome building. It almost looks like a mouth. Like, if you look to the right, it looks like a duck or like a, a mouth. I don't, I don't know if he was actually aiming for that or it's like something that I saw. Like, if you ever looked up in the sky and you see clouds and the clouds like, like, that's totally, like, a, a huge dragon, man. You look at it, and it kind of looks like, I don't know, just a, a, a pile of clouds. <laughs> it's all, I always find it funny trying to see something uh, from a point of perspective that, from a point of view that someone else sees it. You know, like, if I, like, it's almost like those pictures that you see with, like, a bunch of lines, or there's a picture with, like, a, a old lady, but if you stare at it a different way, she turns into, like, a princess, vice versa. And it's just trying to find that midpoint. Uh, in that picture that let that allows you uh, to switch back and forth is always kind of weird for me like trying to get your eye to focus on what not to see and what to see it has always been weird for me uh, this is here is like uh, a bunch of unloaded chunks of of course uh, which <laughs> we'll load that up in a bit but uh, I do want to say that this was probably one of my favorite uh, buildings here uh, because I just love the whole design of it now you may think now that you know it just looks like a tower connected to a bridge but uh, that's what I thought at first but then I kept going to the side and I actually saw that, like, it, it kind of loops around uh, like that. I thought that was awesome. And it also does it uh, on the other side. And again, the colors were good. I think this 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 building here definitely stood out uh, in his map. And I like the way it just angled like that. That, that looks so cool. I do think we do go inside, I, I believe so. Um, let's see what these signs say here. Uh, this is the car park. Uh, welcome to the Stoner's Hotel, uh, created by Smoky Minecraft. And a big thanks uh, to Warfeather02. Uh, so this is this, the, the, the car park uh, here. I think where they may have uh, all the cars or where you may take your smoke mobile and go up here and just, just park and get a look over the whole city. Maybe there's a, a uh, Smollywood sign, which that made absolutely uh, no sense, Smollywood. But yeah, uh, this is a hotel, uh, I believe. Uh, you have your, your villagers over there. Uh, I do want to say I thought it was a, a, a car park, but it does look like uh, a hotel uh, here. Well, it's, I think it... It actually did say that. I don't know why the car park thing was there. I don't know if that actually takes you to, to somewhere else where you would park. Um, and, and the villager, uh, did he give us a room key to use? Did he? I don't know. Or maybe, does Smokey Minecraft have the room key? Or he's actually, I don't know. He probably has, he has all the keys anyway. Uh, he even has, he has all the keys to the car. So uh, he, he's okay with that. We're, we're fine. We, we're good to go. I just didn't want to make sure I was somewhere that I need to be. And I totally like just lost him. I think he went... Uh, maybe up. No, he went inside this room. There you go. Just found you. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> there we have it there. Uh, more cake there on the table. Uh, nice little couch. And again, the speakers too. That's awesome. And this is just your your normal basic size uh, hotel here uh, that, that you can see. And we leave here. And I think we do check out another room. I don't, I don't think all the rooms are necessarily the same. But if they are the same, I don't think we go through through all of them. So that that's probably just your basic looking room that that pretty much all of them uh look like look at this villager here <laughs> oh that is so awesome i, I love that the one thing uh, also I, I don't know how i could forget that uh the one thing that i do love about the city texture back is just the shades you can actually have shades how, how cool is that i don't think many people use that as they should which i'll try to implement uh something with that but that's definitely such a cool uh, aspect again i do wish you could add things to the texture back that you normally use from other texture packs 
And now we're going to go up to uh, part of the, the Smoky City name, uh, Vice City, which it, it almost reminds me of Grand Theft Auto. I, I don't know if this was themed off that or maybe it actually was. Uh, or the buildings. I, I played Vice City a couple times, but I haven't played like Grand Theft Auto like so much to where I remember uh, every single style of building. So uh, that, I don't know if it's just named or themed after it. Let me know in the comments uh, down below if, it, if it's themed after uh, Vice City or, or whatnot. I, I know this definitely does look like it. And we don't have pedestrians walking around and we don't have cops. Uh, going everywhere, so uh, this is definitely not. <laughs> that's definitely not it. If they did have cops in Minecraft, I don't know what they would stop you for. Hey, you just broke that sugar cane. That's five years to life. I don't. They probably do something like that. Or hey, you just griefed that guy's world. Which that that that's pretty much a legitimate reason. I think that that's definitely uh, a, a legitimate uh, proposal. I think if someone was to grief your world, which griefing is not cool uh, at all. If you've ever been griefed. My, my dearest sorries go to you because that just is not good uh, to ruin someone's hard work uh, for what they have done. And I just don't think it's, it's definitely good on, on that. Some people find it funny, uh, which uh, I don't think it's funny. It's not funny if they save it, I think. And I'm not saying it's funny to begin with, but if they save it, then it's like you, you really messed up their work. And I don't think that's cool. Uh, it's nighttime, though. And what we'll do is uh, we do get to some areas where it's lit up, but I think he did a, he did do a great job at lighting up some areas like as far as his street lights uh that that is the glowstone which i, I love that too uh, because the glowstone almost looks a little it doesn't look cheesy but it, it makes things look out of place uh at times like whenever you have glowstone somewhere uh, it just has like a it, it's just a block that just doesn't fit but it lights up it's a little weird i don't know kind of hard to explain uh this was rebuilt uh this is an interior or something uh, I don't know what this is. It almost looks like a, a shop or something. And I, I know where we are. We're we're probably in Amsterdam. That that's exactly uh, where we are. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't piece the two together. He's playing a Snoop Dogg, and we're in Amsterdam, and we're touring his world. That in the discussion there. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was awesome though. A little laptop back there in the room. Uh, another little area, computer electronics. That's what it looks like uh, to me there. And uh, it looks like I thought that was almost a, a giant waterfall. And every time I look up, I feel like I'm going to see a huge Hollywood sign. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm going to end up seeing it. I, it. I don't know why I see that. But uh, let's jump up here do a little bit of parkour and get up top and see exactly what's inside of this building. What's in, what's in store for us uh, behind these walls? We've been getting very uh, entertained throughout each one. And I'm just very curious to see uh, what's over here. Is this like a, a rooftop? Like sauna thing, that's what it looks like. Uh, this is just chill, okay. So it's a chill place that he built that I guess you just go here and just relax. You just you just chill, have a nice peace of mind, have you some cookies, some milk, and you just relax. Uh, that's probably one of the best things uh, ever to do uh, if you're ever feeling stressed out. Just bake you some cookies, man. Bake you some cookies, drink you a nice tall glass of milk. Uh, I, I would and maybe dip it in there if you'd like. Oh, man, I'm getting hungry. Uh, <laughs> I think that's the worst thing is dipping a, a cookie in milk and it like breaks off and crumbles in there. It's like, yeah. Uh, I think sad music plays every time uh, that happens to me. And this room, oh, this what this is what I thought was awesome. So if you just got the drift of that, that's like a mirror. Even though we can't see ourselves, we're, I feel like a vampire. Actually, uh, I love people that do that. Like the whole design is a reflection of what's in the room. Uh, and that is just amazing. Uh, again, I've always said that uh, in Creative Cribs. If you ever watch these episodes a lot, uh, which I do have a playlist on my channel, which if you want to check out and just take a day and go through all the episodes and just enjoy it. Uh, it it's involved so, it evolved uh, so much. Uh, but that mirror was just, just amazing. We have a nice king-size bed there. Uh, this is definitely uh, one of the chillest places I've seen. But yeah, well, again, I always talk about this. If they had mirrors in Minecraft, how awesome would that be? And you'll say something like, hey, you want to see something very bad and you like just hand them a mirror and they kind of look at themselves and uh, <laughs> uh here's another build here and as you can see all the cake and signs we know what this is it's comments and comments and and people that love uh this building this this here was built by split kids uh which uh, yes yes uh, we agree right it was built by him and this this whole uh mansion here was just it was it was flawless. I loved it a lot. Uh, look at all those sunflowers over there. Uh, we do get a view of the whole uh, thing around, but I don't think 
uh, we go inside of this mansion here. Uh, these look almost like security barricades, just in case you try to drive your your smoke mobile in there, and you kind of just crash and 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 <laughs> and it just doesn't end well. But yeah, we don't go inside of this, but it does look amazing. I think I may even get a fly up view over it, but it was it was literally huge, and we just did like a circle around uh, there. Now uh, those are the comments, which I know I don't think I actually am able to read off some of the comments, but uh, let's keep going. I think we're gonna keep going. Uh, straight pass. We just went left, uh, but we never got a chance to go straight. And that, that passageway there under that tunnel just took you right here. So you could probably go to the car shop and then go straight from there. And there, uh, here is a tennis court, which I thought was cool. I think this is, yeah, I played tennis actually not too long ago, uh, which I, that was a lot of fun. I definitely want to play it again. I didn't get to play it uh, very long, but I do want to play tennis again. I think that'd be very cool. It's a very uh, fun sport, and from what I've saw, like I think I posted on Instagram or something like that, like me starting, and I got so many comments like, "Oh, it's so fun," and and stuff like that, which I which I thought was amazing too. And I and I really think that uh, you guys are just uh, very supportive on my tennis career that I'm that I'm pursuing. <laughs> Uh, only in the only, uh, not, not really. Uh, nice water fountain, which that was unique, very futuristic like. Um, I don't know what this is that may be something, uh, almost like something, I guess, just to light up the map. I'm pretty sure this whole mansion would have looked very good during the night as well. Let's fly over here. Uh, and look at that. Look at that. Look at that view. That is awesome. That is so futuristic. Like, it's just amazing. And I don't know if it's just the city that makes it futuristic looking, but, um, it just looks good. I love it a lot. And I think this is the way we go up, I think, from here. Oh, 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 I got it. So I guess this is how you go under it, or this is the correct entrance that you would go to go inside, I think. Yeah, we do. Do we actually go uh, somewhat inside of this? I, I think we do. But I don't know if we go to any, like, bedrooms or if they have any bedrooms in here. What would a mansion be without bedrooms? You have, like... 20 bathrooms and one bedroom. No, that that wouldn't work out. I can even imagine having a house or or, or let alone a mansion with like 20 uh 20 rooms. I would if I had a mansion, I would literally play hide and go seek. I would host like hide and go seek lobbies in real life. Like that would just be fun. I think hide and go seek was probably one of my favorite games uh, as a child. That and like freeze tag. If you don't know what freeze tag is, like let's say it's you and five people, you guys like like you would I think you would pick who would be it and then you would like Whenever you chase the person and touch them, that's like they would freeze or or something. I, I, I haven't played freeze tag in so long. I don't even know how it would even work. Because <laughs> I'm thinking like, what if he freeze the guy? Does he not move uh, forever or or something? I don't I don't know. Yeah, I just know I had a lot of fun uh, playing freeze tag. Which <laughs> or I think you may have had to freeze until they tag you. I don't know. I literally just just lost my whole train of thought there, which I just normally. Uh, tend to rant on. It's probably because of the world. I'm getting blurry vision and stuff. I knew it. Thanks, Smokey Minecraft. Uh, thanks for all your your damage you've done to me. Uh, <laughs> here's another section of the world uh, where there will be a giant Christmas tree in the middle. No, there won't be. Just kidding. Uh, but that is a huge, uh, uh, giant actually uh, tree over there. There's a plane up top. Uh, here's the Noble Forger, uh, which we go over here and see what's What's down here? It almost looks like another another car lot or something, but this may be uh, just another chill house. I think that chill house was probably one of my favorites. I, I like that one a lot. Uh, that was just awesome. Uh, more cake. Cake is the theme uh, of this map here. The cake does look weird. I don't know if I would eat this cake, though. I, I really love the way the regular cake looks, or maybe I'm just, just used to it. But this cake looks like it would make your stomach hurt. I, I, I don't think I would ever eat this cake that that's here. Uh, those skeletons really creep me out. Whatever. No, what, what what mainly creeps me out is when I see Steve heads. I'm like, holy crap, what do you have that for? You have, like, uh, this awesome build here, and then you have, like, a Steve head, like, just sitting somewhere. I'm like, did you did you do this to Steve? Or do you want to do this to Steve? Like, this is awesome. I mean, this is not awesome. Uh, that's bad. Now, I was thinking if you have a creeper head somewhere, then that would be awesome. Uh, but other than that, <laughs> the Steve head is just very creepy. I keep falling in this water. <laughs> I keep falling in this water, like, back and forth. Like, I don't know if you guys are watching that, but every time I try to jump across, I just fall uh, right into the water. I told you, man, Smoky Minecraft is, is messing up my eyes. I cannot see, uh, actually, because of this map, because of this theme map. Um, where did you go? Where are you? There you go. You flew right over there. For some reason, I thought he was, like, way on the other side uh, there. I thought he was. I think he had smoke coming from, like, every building too so every building was actually operating uh and moving 
so that that's something also to that look good like having something in motion I believe so and the lag here is so sorry if you do see some lag spots I believe he was actually in uh, the UK somewhere so like connection was a little uh, crazy there. so if you see him just like speeding up and going crazy or maybe it's because of the map maybe he tried out some of the the the, uh, <laughs> the test subject plans haha <laughs> And uh, maybe that's that's why he's going uh, all crazy like that. <laughs> uh, this world isn't actually loading up here. Uh, but those are just some buildings here. We're just walking along uh, the street just to get a little bit of sightseeing. Uh, there's a lot of things to see. Uh, but the overall, again, he, he oh, more comments. We have more comments, more cake. Whenever I see that, I just immediately get excited. Like, there's so much to see. Uh, this was made by him. Now, I don't know the name uh, of this building. And as we're just chilling, he has his shades on. And I almost think like that character already has shades on for some reason. It, that that the shades definitely fit his skin there. Uh, more cake there. I'm assuming this is the kitchen. Uh, we have the vines over there. Uh, we go upstairs. More sugar cane. With sugar cane for doorways is pretty cool too. Whenever people use that as doors, uh, I thought that's very cool. I think my first time ever seeing that was in a Japanese uh, building. Uh, this is where you would just chill in your bed, get on your laptop, blast some music, and just just chill out. Just chill chill out that that's all you need to do is just chill uh, which I say that a lot actually just chill chill out uh, <laughs> and just have fun uh, whenever someone gets gets angry at you just say just well whenever someone gets angry at you this is what you do you just say just chill chill out uh, that's all you need to do <laughs> and I guarantee you they will chill out because they just they, they just have no choice to if you say it in a chill tone they have no choice but to chill out uh, another design building here uh, we have the cow up there just I think that is the cow. Yeah, that's definitely a cow. The pigs are the one uh, with like, like mud on them uh, in this texture pack. Uh, here's another one. This is actually still under construction. So uh, this is not finished uh, as of now. But we do have uh, some things to see. I did use the ice as the windows, which it looks good because you can still uh, see out across it. But we will go to different levels here to see uh, exactly what's on each one. Uh, this was made by Spliff here, which you remember that, that mansion that he built? Uh, which was like freaking amazing um, so this this is like his room uh, I don't think this is a hotel though he already had a we already went to the hotel the hotel was the blue and and purple building unless he had another one where did you go I think he went up to the next room let's see I know his room is is on one of these uh, this was XX uh, Johnny K I think that that was his name here uh, this is his room and this is to-do list uh, carry on something about more money or something more riches or something I think that said I couldn't actually see that like it was just one of those things like if I'm rich what do I do I wake up and I get more rich I guess I don't know one of those rich quotes I, I think why do I keep going down every time I I drop off that when I know he goes up uh, into the next room we pass that one and this may be his room up top let's see what is this uh, this is oh this was by Johnny K as well I guess this is where they would discuss uh, your different type. Of, and see the Steve head there? Like, it just it, it just creeps me out. And I guess this is where they would have their discussions. And, and I don't know who would be at the head or who would be the boss uh, on top. I'm, I'm assuming it would be Smoky Minecraft at the top. Just, just talking to everyone on how they should, um, I don't know, go about their business maybe. And I think, uh, does he go down to the next level? Does he drop all the way down? There we go. And I believe his room is here. Yeah, welcome to the boss's office. Uh, OGX Smokey, uh, which I don't know if this was that, if that was his old gamer tag or if that's his gamer tag now. Uh, but this is his room. There's his to do list and all that good stuff. But we didn't really spend much time in his room. I guess he was tired of being in his room and he was just like, there's just too much to see. And I'm a boss, so you don't need to see the boss stuff there. So uh, I feel kind of left out, man. I, that, that's how I feel now. I feel like you left me out of your room. <laughs> that's just, I don't know, whatever. You get what I mean. Uh, <laughs> that looked like a painting, uh, but again, awesome building there, and he did an awesome job on playing different roles uh, inside of this world, like, you know, having an office, having other things, uh, really great job on it, and I think it turned out magnificent there. Uh, let's follow this uh, road down, which this road shall lead us uh, to something in, we're closing on in, uh, but I do want to say there's a part of the map where we actually get a chance uh, to go to the inn. Uh, which he built some things in the end, which I always find that 
very unique for people to do like whenever they build things and i actually played a couple hunger games uh in the inn sometimes they don't work out well because of lag but uh throughout this journey i think the end of this episode you'll understand the the, the trip that we've been on and, and you'll understand what's going on and i think it's a great way uh, to actually end the episode so uh you'll definitely just want to stay tuned for that i bet you could not even guess it uh seriously you could not guess it it was almost a scene from it almost reminds me of a scene from uh, if you if you saw my Easter Bunny adventure map, it, it's kind of something uh, like that, but I don't want to ruin it for you guys. But uh, that's where we're actually getting ready to go to now. We're going to get ready to go to uh, the inn here uh, in quite a, in, in a bit, in a, in a few more seconds. I will get ready to go to the inn. The, see, the creeper heads are making me smile because the creepers are defeated. And creepers, I just don't like at all. Like, creepers just always creep me out. I was talking to Blackie Chan, like, yesterday or the other day or so, and we was just saying, like, there's... I just, I can't find a friendly creeper, and Agatha died, which, you know, that's Stampy's creeper, which passed away, but that was the only friendly creeper ever. All these creepers are just not, they're just not even, uh, up to being at a friendly standard. I just, I just don't like them at all. Creepers just creep me out. I, ugh, just make me, ugh, they make me so mad. I used to die by them so much, but now I've actually gotten a little bit better, uh, <laughs> through surviving there. But yeah, let's get ready to go to the end now. As you can see, we are now in the inn uh, by the purple uh, background there. And, and the whole music and the tone just changes uh, whenever you enter the inn. It's almost a very soothing yet uh, good music. But he just started some music. Oh, yeah. And again, this is one of those songs where I feel like snapping my fingers. Like, I feel like a, a old kind of a, a mobster. Not mobster, but I feel like, I don't know. It's it's weird to explain. Like, a just, oh, yeah, smooth jazz. That That's how I feel with, the, with this type of music playing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, awesome here, and I thought it was just great. I think we can even hear the music the further we went too, which I thought was just uh, really good. Uh, here's a mansion, another mansion, like or or if this was like a another uh, hotel or something. Uh, what does that say? I think it says cloudy. Uh, oh no, it actually says cloud nine. Uh, here's like a cloud nine hotel or building, and and we can't hear the music anymore. No, the party's over. Uh, but yeah, cloud nine building here, which I thought was uh, really good. It looked good too. And this is where we actually go inside uh, in a bit. But yeah, if you're also wondering how to submit your world to Creative Cribs, uh, I will put an email down below uh, in the description. So uh, what I will need you to do is you must uh, send me a picture of your world. If you can send me the more, the better, actually, because I get an understanding of it. Uh, but if you send me some pictures of your world that you think are the best, uh, also add your gamer tag. Uh, that's, that's the team craft building is too uh, here, which is the build team. Uh, what you want to do is just send me some pictures uh, of your world along with your gamer tag and along with your time zone. Uh, and I'll definitely be sure to check that out. I've been going through some emails as well, so I will be contacting uh, some people. And I'll try my best to add that in the description. But if you don't know it, it is, uh, it's, uh, I'll, it's actually on my Twitter link as well. And it'll also be uh, on the description of my channel just in case I actually forget to add it on here. Or maybe I'll add it on the screen, I think. But I think it'll definitely uh, be down below in the description. But if not, uh, definitely check out my Twitter uh, which is in the description below and there should be an email link there for you guys to submit your world to me and I I'll try to contact you uh, as soon as possible again I'm really pushing for uh, 100 episodes I definitely don't want to miss a week uh, where I don't upload creative cribs but yeah uh, that's pretty much it for today's episode you guys on Smoky City made by Smoky Minecraft or Smoke City uh, made by Smoky Minecraft but I hope you guys did enjoy again we're getting ready to end our whole full trip here uh, and, and return back uh, to our world which you shall see uh, coming up here soon but I hope you guys did enjoy uh, today's episode and this was another thing he'll be he'll be here built by by Johnny K you see the speakers too I think he Johnny K loves music I, I think and I don't even know him I don't think I've ever met him but I, I can tell he just he loves music music always just the, the life without music would just be I don't know not life I, I love music music is awesome uh, it, it just makes the day go by it makes things much more sound just makes things much more alive and it's it's just really good before i get caught up in the whole ranting on music thing uh again we're getting ready to uh end our journey here but i hope you guys did enjoy drop a like if you did and also be sure to subscribe uh to my channel to stay up to date with the latest like minecraft creative cribs if you like to see like world tours uh th th i definitely do that all the time and i'll also be bringing you guys uh some new news uh coming soon but yeah here we go here. Uh, we're getting ready to end it now, I believe, and uh, just end this trip and end this journey uh, the correct way. And there we go. But that's pretty much it. And until the next, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.